Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. This is actually a piece of dogwood that I'm going to replace this handle with, but I didn't see that crack on the bottom of it until I turned it over. So I'm either going to work on this section right here, or I'm going to go find another piece. I think it'd be easier to go find another piece that's not so big where I don't have to remove as much material. So let me see if I can go find one and we will continue, um, since it's a rainy day, fixing some of these new cordless tools that I happen to pick up at the antique shop. If you didn't see that video, make sure and go back and check out last Friday's video where I went and visited uh, the antique shop and picked up uh, some new hand tools. Anyway, let me see if I can round up another piece of dog wood. I actually found a piece of oak up there. So I'm going to see if I can kind of split this and we'll make us a piece. This is called a fro, by the way. I don't know how many of you know that or have actually seen one, but this is what they used back in the day to actually make shingles and uh, split wood and a lot of different things. that'll be good for what we need.
Well, I've got that shaved down looking pretty good. Um, I left a really good wide flat spot right here so that um, we can get that auger up in there. sharpen that tip but I believe it's going to work. I believe it's going to work good. All right. One tool almost restored. Well we're making um, 
BLTs. I might even talk them into a belt, bacon, egg, lettuce, and tomato. But anyway, while those are cooking, it's time for another giveaway. What we've decided to do this month is let you all decide. And by that I mean we're going to give away a $50 um, Amazon gift card on our Outpost channel and we're going to give away a $25 gift card on our review channel. So you guys be sure and make a comment on this video and then find the one on the review channel which comes out on Wednesdays. Make a comment there and that will put you in the drawing for the winner for the gift cards. That way we don't have to think of what we're going to give away this month. We're just going to let you all decide. Yes, it's right? on you this time. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Since it's on you, all you have to do is say, hey, I want the gesture to have it, and I will gladly take it. The comment that they need to make in there is, hey, what are we doing? Yep. Hey, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Make any kind of comment because the random picture actually pulls all the comments from that particular video, and then that's how it does it. But um, anyway... That is for the month of June, so shortly I'll meet you inside and we'll see who the lucky winners were for the month of May. So stay tuned. Me. Ha. Okay, I have got both channels pulled up here. This is actually the Outpost Review channel. What I'm going to do is copy that URL, slide over here to the random picker. We're going to insert that in there. Then we're going to come down and answer this little question, which is nine. And we're going to get all the comments. Okay, then we're going to come down here and start the raffle. So, Daniel Courtney, looks like you are the winner for the review channel. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll come up here, we will go to the Outpost channel. Oops. We will copy that link, go back to the random picker, highlight that, delete it, paste in the new one, answer the little question, and get the comments. Alright, then we'll go over here and start the raffle. So it looks like Misplaced Country Girl. You are the winner for the Outpost channel. Well, congratulations to Danielle Courtney and Misplaced Country Girl for winning the month of May at Smoky Mountain Outpost. We hope that you enjoy the gifts. Uh, be sure and contact us at SmokyMountainOutpost at gmail.com uh, with information on how we can get in touch with you so that we can get that stuff ordered and get it sent out to you as soon as possible. So with that said, let's get back to the video.
Good job. Good ball. You want it? Ready? Ready? What I'm making is a ladder for that tower so that I can get up and down fairly easy. And I didn't want to spend the money to get one uh, to hook it up there permanently, which I probably, you know, don't need one laying there permanently, but. I thought if I could actually get find the material to make it with, then it would be up there all the time whenever I needed access to the tower. These posts are a little bit crooked, so some of these fit basically all the way up tight, some of them don't, but it's okay because 
I got three inches on that tenon that I actually made. I'm putting these screws in there so that these don't actually uh, pull out or pull away. Well, we've got a ladder now, 22 feet long. That will extend up about two feet up above the platform when I get it finished. I wanted to be able to have something to grab onto when you start down. I think what I'm gonna do is let this dry out some more and I will burn it somewhat. I'll put the oil on it and then it will be ready to go. So be sure and stay tuned for um, all the different parts of this tower build because I've never done anything like this before so it should prove to be a little bit entertaining um, anyway it's challenging me that's that's uh, the thing about it so but you know I'm saving a lot of money doing things myself I could have went out and bought a ladder you know hundred couple hundred bucks but um, this one really didn't cost anything but basically a couple days work because um, finding these right here two of them that were similar um, although this one's a little bit crooked finding two of them similar was uh, a trick and then the steps you can tell um, they're not all straight and that was a trick trying to get that in there but um, managed to do that and got these screws set in there so that will hold it uh, once I get it leaned up in there then I'll put some all thread through those other braces that are up there uh, with this and that will secure it and it will be up there permanently Anyway, my son my daughter myself. We thank you guys very much for stopping by and hanging out with us up here at the homestead while we're trying to Develop our infrastructure. We hope that each and every one of you have a great day You all take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time